Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I just want to do a short video on DuckDuckGo. It's what I use when I'm searching the web. Let's take a look. This is the DuckDuckGo web page, but personally, I never use it. All I did was I went into Safari, clicked on the plus to get a new tab, went over, clicked on the magnifying glass, that's the search, and then you get to choose what search engine you'd like to use, and I chose DuckDuckGo. From then on, all of my searches will go to DuckDuckGo. So here's Miami, and this search is being done by DuckDuckGo. You can see DuckDuckGo suggestions. You can see over here the DuckDuckGo logo. Now, DuckDuckGo does use ads. So the first two in this, on this page are ads. How did it choose what ads to put up? Not based on my prior searches, not based on what I did on Amazon, not based on what my Google email has shown them, but just based on what I searched for. I searched for Miami, and someone has paid to put ads up if I search for Miami. But everything after that, is just based on information from DuckDuckGo. So it's a clean search engine. I like that. The pages are the same if you search for it or if I search for it. There's no information being kept. It's safe. DuckDuckGo does have an add-on that you can do with privacy protection or something. I don't use that. As I said, all I did was clicked on the little search bar. Ah, won't work here. I'm already on a page. You have to go to a new page in Safari, click on the search bar, and then choose. So that's DuckDuckGo, at least how I use it. And I don't recommend that other people use it, and I'm certainly not a fanatic about privacy or anything, but Take a look at it. You might like it. Have a great day.